In this demo, we will show how to enable communication between devices on a CanOpen network and the Symantec S7-1200 PLC from Siemens. The communication is made possible by the CM CanOpen module from HMS Industrial Networks, which acts as a translator between the CanOpen network and the S7-1200, enabling them to communicate. To create the configuration, we will use the CM CanOpen Configuration Studio, which is included in the product price of the CM CanOpen. It can also be downloaded from the HMS website, anybus.com. The first thing we need to do is to create a new project by selecting File and New. We then decide where to save our project. I save this in a folder on my computer and name it Sample Project. I then need to specify what type of managed device I'm using. I select Browse and choose the S7-1200 CM can open. I also need to specify the node ID of the manager device. I let this remain at 127. We also need to choose how many bytes to send to and from the manager. Since we only have 8 bytes in and 8 bytes out in this configuration, I change the process image to 8 bytes out and in. The process image is the buffer where the data is stored in the manager and can be up to 256 bytes in each direction. I click OK and the project is created. As we now can see, our manager has been created. The name is S7-1200 CM can open and the node ID is 127. I now want to add a slave to my configuration. In this example, I'm using an Anibus S from HMS Industrial Networks, but it can be any type of industrial device on the CanOpen network. Since this is a new device on this network, I need to add an EDS file, which is a file used to describe the functionality of the node on a network. I have received this from the manufacturer of the slave device. I add the slave device by selecting Tools and Manage Catalog. The Anibus S that I'm adding is not yet present in my device catalog list, so I click the button for Import a Device. I select the EDS file that I have downloaded from the manufacturer and click Open. This adds the device to the device catalog and enables me to use it in my configuration. I close this window and then move on to add this as a slave. Since the Anibus S does not have a device profile, I go to the tab for Other Profiles, which I find here at the bottom of my window. I can now simply drag the device to the Project Explorer window and drop it here. I now need to specify a name for my slave, since there may be other devices using the same EDS file. I name it Anibus S. I also need to specify the node ID. I choose the node ID 3, which is specified on the switches of the Anibus S. Finally, I need to specify Group, which in this case is Slaves. I click OK and the slave is added to my configuration. I can see that it has the node ID 3 and that it is placed in the Slaves group. I have now added my manager and my slave and want to specify the data that is to be sent between these two. I do this by selecting the in and out areas for my slave device. I select my slave and then go to the tab Application Objects. Here I find a list of all the objects that are possible to map as process data. As you may remember, we have specified that we want to send and receive 8 bytes between the manager and the slave. These bytes can be found in the tabs 2000 and 2100. I select the 8 bytes going into the slave and the 8 bytes going out from the slave. To implement this configuration, I select the Build tab and choose Calculate Configuration. This creates a structure in my process image, which I can view in the tab called Process Image. I can see that we have created 8 bytes coming in and 8 bytes going out from the slave. To the right, I can see the exact position of the data in the process image. I am now finished with my configuration, but I also want to set up error detection so I can see if a node on my network becomes unresponsive. 
I do this in the tab called Error Control Configuration. Here I specified so-called heartbeat parameters. Heartbeat is a type of surveillance protocol which is sent between the nodes on the network. In producer time, I specify how often I want the NBUS S and the S7-1200 to send heartbeats to ensure that they're operational. In this case, the interval is 500 milliseconds. I also need to select consumer time, which is the time frame in which the receiving node expects to receive the heartbeats. For my Anibus S, I specify that we should receive heartbeats from the S7-1200, located on node ID 127, once every second. If it does not, it will send an alert. We do the same thing for the S7-1200. If it does not receive a heartbeat from the Anibus S on node 3, every second, it will alert. Finally, we will generate a configuration by selecting Build and Generate Configuration. I save my configuration in the same folder as my sample project. This concludes my configuration and I can download it to the CM Can Open module. I do this by selecting Network and Download. I specify the interface that I'm using. In this case, my computer is connected directly to the CM Can Open module via a USB cable. If I have several CM Can Open modules, I can select which module I want to download my configuration to. In this case, there's only one. I choose the sample project file, which I've just created, and click Download. The configuration is now downloaded to the manager, and I have set up my Canopen node to communicate with the Semantic S7-1200.